we are entering a new level of spirituality. Although there are still religious wars, they are decreasing in frequency. People are beginning to connect with each other at higher levels of consciousness. The collapse of the Berlin Wall and the birth of freedom in Europe represent an expanding consciousness, as freedom is everyone's natural birthright. As each person's consciousness awakens, the group consciousness is also affected. When you use your consciousness in a positive way, you are connecting with other like-minded people, and when you use it in a negative way, you are also connecting with people who do the same. When you meditate, you connect with other people on the planet who meditate, and when you visualize good for yourself, you also do it for others. Our goal is to expand our thinking and move beyond what was to what might be. Our consciousness has the power to create miracles in the world. The totality of possibilities connects everything, including our universe and beyond. We should ask ourselves what we are connecting with. Prejudice is a form of fear, and if we are prejudiced, we are connecting with others who are prejudiced. But if we open our consciousness and work on a level of unconditional love, we connect with the curve on the graph that is climbing upwards. Instead of being left behind, we can rise up with the curve. In times of crisis, we should send positive energy and affirmations to the troubled area for the highest good of all concerned. We need to use our consciousness in a way that creates harmony and plenty for all people. Instead of condemning and complaining, we can connect with the power on the spiritual level and affirm the most positive results imaginable. Emphasizes the power of positive thinking and self-healing through self-love and forgiveness. Let go of limiting beliefs and negative emotions to live a life full of possibilities. Every time you hear something is incurable, know in your mind that it isn't true. Incurable to me simply means that the medical community hasn't yet figured out how to cure that particular illness. It doesn't mean that it's not possible. It means that we go within and find a cure. Without giving ourselves options, we cannot give ourselves hope. Dr. Donald Picciuto stated at the National AIDS Conference in Washington, D.C. that no epidemic has ever been 100% fatal and that somewhere on the planet, someone has been cured of every single disease that we have been able to create. Instead of accepting doom and gloom, we must adopt a proactive stance. We must start using the power we already possess to heal ourselves if we are to discover any answers. We possess extra powers. According to some estimates, we only use 10% of our brains. What does the remaining 90% serve? I believe telepathy is a form of psychic talent. The only reason we don't allow ourselves to experience clairvoyance or clairaudience is because we have so many excuses for not doing so or because we don't think we can. Little kids are frequently quite psychic, but when their parents instantly correct them by saying things like, don't say that, that's your imagination, or don't believe in that foolish nonsense, the child ultimately loses their psychic talents. I believe the mind is capable of amazing feats. Anything is feasible, so say it with me. I am a resident of broad spectrum of possibilities. Everything is okay where I am. Take a moment to consider the words all good, not some good, not a little bit, but all good. When you have the mindset that anything is possible, you open yourself up to finding solutions in every area of your life. Since there are infinite possibilities, it is up to each person and society as a whole to decide whether to put up or take down barriers and allow all that is good to enter our lives. Start by being aware of what is happening inside of you. Pay attention to how you feel, how you act, what you think, and what you believe. By doing this, you may live your life considering all of the options. We don't want to change ourselves, but we want everyone else to change. Our lives will only be different when we change ourselves and believe in it, and that belief has to come from within. Change here means releasing ourselves from emotions of loneliness, alienation, anger, fear, and suffering. 
We do this by creating magnificent, tranquil lifestyles where we can unwind and take in life as it comes to us knowing that everything will be well. I like to operate with the assumption that life is fantastic, everything is perfect, and I always work for the greater good. In this manner, it doesn't matter to me which course my life takes, since I know it will be wonderful, so I can appreciate all kinds of events and circumstances. You can consider yourself to be an interior home cleaner. You don't have to do it all, but if you alter just a little bit before you start to see effects, you'll start to feel better soon. If you do a little bit at a time, it will all be done eventually. With this, we come to the end of the video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.